you for viewing today. I'd like to talk with you about life. In John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And He is our life. He gives us abundant life. I am here in front of a tree that owns itself. It's in Athens, Georgia. And there is a, uh, a fence around it. Uh, the man loved this tree that lived here on this property. And before he passed away, he wrote into his will that this tree owned itself. It could not be cut down. It could not be moved to another location. And he surrounded it uh, with uh, protection. He said that he loved this tree. And therefore, he wanted it to own itself. You know, in Psalms 1, it says that we are trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord. You know, but what I want to go to is Genesis chapter 3. Because in this, uh, in, in chapter 2, God uh, makes man and puts him in the garden and he tells him not to eat, that he can eat of all the trees, but not to eat of the tree of good and evil. And, but that he could eat of the tree of life. You know, and that's what we're supposed to be eating. We're supposed to be eating the Word. We're supposed to be uh, studying the Word and and so that we're not a workman uh, to be ashamed of what we're doing. But Jesus is our life. And in chapter 3, it says that the serpent, or the devil, is very cunning and very crafty. And he comes and he says to the woman, he says to Eve, um, Are you supposed to eat of these trees in the garden? And she says, Yes, we can eat all the fruit of the trees except for this tree, the fruit... Uh, the, the tree of good and evil. And and then the devil begins to bring in deception. And he deceives her. And he tells her a lie. And he is the father of liars. He cannot uh, do anything but lie. And it says here uh, in verse 4, uh, You will not surely die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. You know, this is a lie because Adam and Eve were made. They already looked like God. They uh, had the same image as he did. He said, let us make a man uh, in our own image. And so they they already looked like God. And so there there is a lie uh, right off the bat. But when the woman began to, to use her reasoning, her, her thinking, and, and it says that her husband was right there with, with her. Adam was right there with her. And they ate of the fruit. And immediately, life left them. Why did God say, don't eat of this tree? Because it would put them into the natural realm. It would put them into where they saw good and they saw evil. Up until that point, they were clothed with the glory of God. They had fellowship with Him. He came and He walked with them in the cool of the evening. And He communed and talked with them. At that point, when they ate of the tree of good and evil, they went into the natural realm. And it says that they died. They were they became fearful. God came and said, Adam, where are you? And and Adam said, I was afraid and so I hid myself. I hid myself from you. See, fear only comes in the natural realm. There's no fear in the spiritual realm. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That's what it says in Timothy. You know, so I say unto you today, are you eating of the tree of life? Jesus is the tree of life. You know, in the book of Revelation, it says that the trees that line the river, which is the Holy Spirit, 
the leaves are for the healing of the nations. Life. Life is in this tree that is behind me. And isn't it something that it owns itself? You know, we are trees of righteousness. And we are members. And, and we are in the kingdom of God. So I say unto you today, partake of life. Partake of the tree that's in the garden where Jesus put us. He put us back in the garden. And so uh, what he did on the cross put us back in the garden. So let's eat of him. Let's eat of the word of God and be strong and be healthy just like this tree behind me. I pray for you today that you will have life and that you will have life more abundantly. In Jesus' name, thank you for viewing.